everyone, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. To start this one off, I thought I'd introduce you to the editor of these vlogs. Here we go. This is my sister, Sammy. Known on YouTube as Smay J, and she edits my vlogs, and she does a great job, I think. Thanks. <laughs> We've just been chatting about her wedding website, because I have been building that for her. Um, and I think I'm gonna do a video about it when it's all done, and show you like what I did, and how to make a wedding website in Webflow. But you're happy with it, right? Yes, I'm very happy with it. Good, you have to say that. <laughs> so my workmate Yure has been in London for the weekend and he's here working all day today as well, like just remote working. So we thought we'd meet up, hang out, um, come out to Shoreditch. We're gonna go to Box Park for some lunch and then head to a cafe and work for the afternoon. I've got a uh, GP appointment this morning in Clapham and so I always like to come to the skate park before I have a doctor's appointment. I forgot though that it's school holidays and so there's lots of kids here and I'm sure more are going to turn up very soon. I am about to ship something pretty big, um, just doing like all of my last minute checks and things and I'm just about to do a backup of our site before I ship it. Um, I've finished like the code for our rebrand, the visual rebranding of our marketing site. And so now it's time to get it live and put it out to the world. So yeah, um, it's a bit weird because once I launch it, I have to go in and change a few like of the settings in WordPress because our site is dynamic. Some things are controlled by WordPress options rather than just in the code itself. So as soon as I launch, a few things are gonna look a little bit strange. Like, um, let me show you on our staging site. Our features page, for example, the heading isn't really visible because I have to go in and change it to use the dark version. But that's okay, we'll, we'll get it live um, and then I'll go and make those fixes. had our design stand-up that we have once a week with me, Dylan who's a product designer, and Nathan who is our founder and he's also a designer. Um, and we got to talking about our new logo. Nathan said that he tried to order hats because the branding agency who we hired to design our logo did like this mock-up and it just looked really cool on a hat. But he said that um, there was going to be too long a turnaround time so we wouldn't get them in time for our retreat which is coming up um, in just like 12 days or something. But I had a look on a merch website that I've used before, it's called Awesome Merchandise, based here in the UK, and they have a faster turnaround. So now, I am printing out um, uh, images of our logo and testing the size to order some hats. As you can see, my printer is running out of ink, but I think these are gonna look cool. So I'm gonna put this order in, and then try and get in touch with them and get them to like speed it up a little bit if they can, so I'm, they for sure arrive for me to take them to the US in a few weeks. Okay, so today, I woke up Eight minutes after I was meant to start recording our podcast with Fem. Oh, just, it was too hot to sleep and I think, um, I actually had a coffee at like 2 p.m. or something like that. There was like a cold brew thing that we had in our fridge. So I think they kept me up. Um, getting old, can't handle coffee too late in the afternoon anymore. Anyway, um, I like leapt out of bed as soon as I saw the time. And I was like, I'm sorry Fem, give me five minutes to wake up. We recorded, it was a short episode because Femme was also very tired, but yes, we did it, we got it done. Um, both her and I are gonna be away in the States a lot over the coming like two months. And so yeah, there was, there's like some episodes we have to have saved in the backlog if we wanna be able to keep posting during that time. Anyway, um, now I don't actually feel that much more awake than I did like what, two hours ago, three hours ago, whenever I woke up. But I'm gonna head to the supermarket. I'm gonna get um, 
stuff for my breakfast, stuff to make some lunch today, and also dinner tonight at the same time. But yeah, it's, it's errand running time. So at work at the moment, we're doing um, a recipe challenge. So basically, it's part of our like wellness program, and our operations team has been putting together like information on nutrition, fitness, that sort of thing for us. Um, they have been posting recipes as well, like healthy recipes to try. And for every one you try and post a photo of, you get entered into like the draw to win um, a, like a cash prize, I think it is. So. I've made one recipe so far, which was some um, like oat muffin things with dates and blueberries in them. And today for lunch, I'm going to make um, and one of the other ones, which is like this quinoa salad with a homemade dressing. We've been eating a lot of salads lately just because it's so hot, but I don't know. I'm actually craving salads, which is weird because I'm not the type of person to crave a salad. Like I enjoy healthy eating, but I also really enjoy chips, you know? So yeah, today for lunch, I'm going to try that quinoa salad and I'll let you know how it goes. But Right now I'm going to unpack all of this and get on with work. Good morning everyone! It is Friday, we have made it. I'm very tired today. I can't remember if I've said in this vlog yet, but we got the flat. that um, I think I mentioned maybe a couple of vlogs ago. I've probably been talking about it in every vlog lately because that has been my life lately, has been fly hunting. But we got it, we have signed the lease, and um, I'm just sending, uh, well actually on Wednesday I think I sent over all the money for it. it ugh, moving into a new flat is just like, it drains your bank account. I think that I have had to send the letting agent about 5,000 pounds. like essentially just to move in because it's like deposit first month rent you know the fees or whatever um and then like another rent payment's going to be coming out in a few weeks time it's uh it's so expensive um it makes me i don't know sometimes i'm like why do i live in london when i could live anywhere in the world and have the same salary why am i choosing to spend so much money on rent but there's a lot of there's a lot of good parts about London as well, um, so I just have to remind myself of that. Actually, yesterday, uh, the day before maybe, I went for a walk in the evening, like to the area where our new flat is, just to remind myself why I'm excited to move there and like why I'm paying all this money. Uh, but yeah, um, excited to have it sorted. Excited to know where we're moving to. Now we're just like in the stages of figuring out actually how to move and when to do that because we're going to have some sort of crossover period between moving out of this flat and into the next one. Which is good because it means we don't like have to do it all in one day or anything. I think what we might try to do is rent like a minivan and move stuff ourselves. Which terrifies me the thought of me driving a minivan because Mark doesn't have a driver's license and I only got mine last year. Uh, yeah, and I've not done a whole lot of driving since, apart from our South Island road trip. But anyway, we'll, we'll we'll see how the plan goes on that. I'm still like thinking it through. Yeah, so I've just got to send over one last payment to the letting agent and then get on with my day. It's a beautiful day and I think I might start it with a walk. Just on a morning walk through a park drinking a coffee. I love walking through parks because basically I can just spend the whole time looking at dogs. I wish I had one of my own to walk but sadly my life does not like it's not suitable for a dog and also don't know much about dogs so probably wouldn't even know how to take care of one. It's like really dark today. It's raining. I just had thunder. It's actually kind of nice after so many weeks of heat. Anyway, right now I'm trying to solve a problem and I'm not being very successful with it. So this is a glimpse of the website that I've built to go along with the book that I designed. Did I talk about this yet? I've probably talked about it a million times and you're probably all sick of it by now. But 
this is the book that I designed that I was um, talking about several months ago when I was going through that. Uh, now it's time to get the project launched, which means getting the website up. And for the most part it's looking pretty good. There's just a few weird things that I can't get right. Like, what are you doing, Line? Ah. I think the main reason I'm struggling is because I haven't built this all myself. I was working with um, one of the other designers at work on it. And yeah, so he'd like built part of the functionality. And so I just don't have this understanding of how it works. So yeah, currently trying to figure that out. Just as I turn this camera on, this Dyson fan that I'm sitting next to decided to turn itself up for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog by booking a flight to New Zealand. I am going to try out some travel hacking for the first time in my life. So I've always been good at collecting air points. When I say that, I mean that when I book a flight, I will put in my like frequent flyer number or whatever. And so I get the points from that flight. I'm, I'd never take a flight and not get the air points from it. But I've not been good at collecting air points from other ways. And so, yeah, I'm sure I could be doing a lot more, especially with the amount I travel to maximize like earning air points and getting free flights and stuff. I signed myself up, let me just cover the number, um, for an American Express card because they have like a thing where if you can spend, I think it's like 2,000 pounds in the first two months, you get 20,000 bonus points. And I think I found, um, it's this Emirates flight where if I buy an economy class, it'll cost me like, I think it was 1,389 pounds one way to New Zealand. And then I can spend like 70,000 air points to upgrade to business. If you weren't following my channel um, back at the start of the year, um, Mark and I decided to treat ourselves to business class flights to New Zealand when we went back for Christmas, um, last Christmas. And yeah, I filmed a vlog flying Emirates business class. It was amazing, especially because that is like a 30 hour journey. And so to be like comfortable during it and not like, ugh. yeah, it's going to be hard to go back to a regular flight. That's for sure. So I would like to try and earn enough um, air points to upgrade myself if I can. I mean, why not try, you know, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm about to book the economy flight right now, and then I will see how far I get in earning the air points. Um, and I guess I'll keep you updated. <laughs> a lot of people I know in America are really good at travel hacking and like, you know, getting free first class flights and things like that. Um, I think it's just more of like a culture of that there are like there's more options too. I don't know But now that I got this American Express card, I'm gonna try to do it too. So we'll see Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it I really liked a couple of vlogs back how um, I asked how your week was and for you to tell me like what the highlight of your week was So if you feel like doing that again, I really liked reading those comments So leave a comment down below telling me that what was the highlight of my week? I feel like my highlight of the week has actually been um, my new schedule that I think I talked about at the beginning. It's, it's made me have a really good week and I feel like I've got a lot done. Um, I've been able to like be active every day as well and like feel my move rings on my watch. So that's been, that's been really good. It's made for a good week for me. So hope your week was good as well. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.